what's cracking welcome back into the show on well, today's video man i got a new fragrance that i just added to the collection it's called starman nebula cloning uh mugulaire tear mugulaire pure i believe malt that has been discontinued starman nebula we're going to talk about it today on the fragrance show stay tuned Welcome back into the show, man. Shouts out to everybody doing their thing. Shouts out to everybody who continue to take time out their day to check out the fragrance show. We rocking, man. So today on the channel, we're talking Star Man Nebula. Right here. Nice black bottle. Kind of like gold juice. Star Man Nebula, guys, from the House of Fragrance World. And like I said, this is cloning a fragrance from Terry Miguel. Called Pure Malt. Now, I I only had one fragrance from Mugulaire, from the Mugulaire line, and that was called Angel Man. Man, now that scent, I enjoyed the scent. To me, it's not a mass appealing fragrance. Uh, to me, I would definitely, if you have Angel Man, do you know what I'm talking about? It's really potent, and um, the DNA is not for everybody. But nevertheless, I just grabbed this Star Man Nebula, just a part of a fragrance haul. I said, I'm gonna check it out. I heard good reviews on it and they said it was cloning a fragrance that was discontinued. So you could pick this up off of Triple Traders like I did for the price of $10.99, guys. That is a steal. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm gonna link it down in the description. Go get this fragrance for 20 bucks. And if you are a fan of Angel Man, then is this one is kind of similar to it. Um, so I think fans of the Angel Man would definitely love this one right here. But nevertheless, guys, presentation is right here. Got that all for y'all. 3.4 ounce, here go your box, 100 ml, and here go your bottle. I mean, the bottle is not the best kind of design, um, but nevertheless, the juice is dope. Now, I will say when you first spray this one, to me, it has kind of definitely like an alcohol blast. Um, so you might want to let this settle down for like good 15 to 20 seconds before you go in for a smell. But I will say it definitely is potent stuff. Once again, note breakdown on this one. Starts out with some malt, some peppermint, some coffee, some cedar. You got some base notes of peat, vanilla, amber, and musk. And you got some fruits up in here as well orange and some bergamot of freshness now i will say now i was able to smell pure malt when it did come on the market i did not own a bottle of it i had got a decan of it and i will say there is a difference in the opening of this one and the og pure malt and that's fruit with this one i don't really get the fruit like that with the nebula starman nebula I don't really get the fruit like that in the beginning like you get with the pure malt. This one has that, it's whiskey, it has, definitely has that malt. I ain't gonna lie, when I first smelled this one, I was getting like some some oud wood kind of vibes. And I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Time for Oud Wood or the clone Woody Oud by Mason Alhambra. So this one had to really settle down and I didn't really start enjoying it, enjoying it until like the mid, until the dry down when that whiskey came through. This has like some coffee in it as well. Some, um, you definitely want to smell the malt in this one. Um, it says peppermint is listed here. I don't really get peppermint, um, but you know, you have some woods and some whiskey in here too. It's nice. This is this is nice, but the descent DNA is not mass appealing and is not for everybody. I'm just going to say that. So, if you was a fan of pure malt and um, you know you like that style of DNA, you might want to try the Starman Nebula. Sorry, I dropped the cat. Like I said, the only difference between this and the OG is just the fruit. It's, it's hardly in the fruits. Fruits is listed here as a note, but it's hardly in the fruits in the beginning. Guys, this is a banger for the fall and winter time. You don't want to wear this in hot weather. I wouldn't even reach for this in the spring. It's way too potent. 
um, fall, winter. To me, this is the fragrance. You're outside, you know what I mean? You got maybe your scarf on, nice scarf, maybe your pea coat on, or your just a nice fall winter jacket you rocking this joint and to me this is more of a formal scent than casual um will i wear this on a date i would definitely wear this on a date it do have a slight cozy vibe to it once it's settled down though this one has to settle down guys definitely from the opening <clears throat> but once it settles down, like i said you're left with some coffee some whiskey some sweetness from vanilla you left with a really nice unique aroma uh for sure and this is definitely going to make the definitely i would say maybe my winter rotation maybe the back of my winter rotation now performance on this one right up there with the og to me on my skin this was lasting like almost all day i thought i was gonna have to wash this off but if i had to put a number on it i would say seven hours maybe even longer than that and the projection was good for like strong within that first hour hour and a half mark started to settle back but it didn't become the skin scent to way when it was like in like the seventh going into the eight hour mark i'm like yo this joint is sticking around yo for 20 bucks guys i'm telling y'all right now if you are and it has like i said a slight resemblance to the angel man just a slight resemblance to that dna so if you are a fan of that and you want to sign on the cheap for the fall and winter check out star man nebula guys all right hopefully i covered everything dealing with this fragrance is not let me know down in the comments if you have any more questions about it or let me know was you able to hold on to your pure malt or if you have the star man nebula for two all right guys so if you need more content click on that video header up above if you want to like and subscribe to the channel you can go and do that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace salute